Hi, everybody. I'm being watched today. Say hi, Sarah. Hi. I did her makeup. So, today, I'm going to be trying a semi-new um, foundation. I haven't tried this brand before, but it's been around for a while, so whatever. We'll see if it works for me. And then I have, yeah, I put way too much primer on this. Um, then I have a full base to do later. So, see how this goes. foundation I'm going to be using today is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Natural, which is the same as porcelain, I guess. That's what it says. It won't focus. Trust me. It's a little thicker than the foundation I usually use. But there's a really weird smell to it. Strange. All right, now I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup as I usually do. And I will do my eyes last, so I can talk about what I'm doing with my eyes. So here we go. So for eyeshadow today, I am using the Maybelline City Mini Palette. Oh. Camera won't focus. But I'm using this palette. 
I haven't used it on myself yet, but I used it on her because we're trying to figure out makeup for her wedding. So. But now I'm going to use it on myself. I don't know what I want to do. I do know what I want to do. I, want, I know exactly what I want to do. I just need my brush. So I'm going to go with the darkest brown. further away than it usually is today. It's making it. Difficult to see myself. Because I am blind and I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay, I shut that again and I need it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this one, which is kind of like a pinky, goldish, I don't know, it's pretty. It's like a rose gold kind of. And for my last trick, before I blend it all together, I'm going to go in with this, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to go above the dark brown. And into the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush and blend it out. Oh wait, eyeliner. I forgot eyeliner. I'm going to use Maybelline Super. <laughs> you know, Mickey. Mabel, there we go. Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Dreamer. I don't think I've said it before, or if I have, I'm just going to say it again. These are the coolest applicators. I love these so much. So that foundation, mm, it's alright.
the coverage isn't great and it's kind of it's a little cakey it felt really soft and really nice going on so it's definitely not the worst just for me um, I'm not quite sure I like the finish of it Okay, it's the Wet n Wild finishing spray. Photo focus. Shake well before use. Oh, that's cute. It looks like a a camera lens. You see that? That's really cute. Matte appeal. Made in China. It's cruelty free though. It's a pretty heavy mist. It smells good. It has a very clean smell. Um, in the description, I will put how well the foundation and the spray wore, um, long term. But, first impressions, I like them both. Um, everything laid down on top of the foundation perfectly fine. It's just a little too cakey for me. And the spray has a very heavy mist. But it didn't leave marks on the makeup or anything, so it's not too bad. Alright guys, that is that. I will catch you all tomorrow. Oh, now I can see. Shocker. I can see now. Um, catch you all tomorrow and whatnot. And I guess that's it.